Hello everyone, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge. And now that we have our end of the year and beginning of the year videos out of the way, it's time to get back to some of the normal good stuff around here at the Book Refuge. And that means today we're coming at you with a taboo romance wreck. And today this one is going to be voyeurism. I will explain that in just a second. First, I want to give credit to Melissa B who put this one into my book, my not my book rec form, mm, into my video rec form which I always have linked down below. I have a book rec form and a video rec form. If there are any videos you'd like to see from me or there are any books you'd like to see me read, you can always just put in, fill out that Google form. You can put in as many as you'd like um, and I get around to them when I need ideas for videos or if there's something that I see multiple people put in, I know that it is wanted. And Melissa B. put this in. So how I'm going to explain voyeurism and why this one is taboo. Because of a lot of the taboo wrecks that I've done, they're usually a little bit darker, a little bit spicier than this. Um, voyeurism doesn't always have to be overly taboo. Sometimes in some of these books we're going to mention, it's more even the idea of someone watching. But voyeurism tends to mean either you get off on or it enhances your sexual experience to either watch or be watched well engaging in intercourse, right? There's my very technical term. Again, this could be the implication of being watched, or it could be happening in a place where you have to be very quiet, but you're getting off on the fact that you're having to be quiet because someone could hear you having sex if you were too loud. Um, those are all different forms of this kink. Um, and I think there are some books that are probably coming to your mind right away, just like they did to mine. Um, and this is going to be really fun. So this is also going to be more one of my quicker videos that I do. Knock on wood, I'll try my best. Um, just because a lot of the setup for some of these can be kind of the same. Um, and I'm more focusing on the voyeurism element of the story and less about the story as a whole. Because if you're looking to read more that have this in it, these are books that have it in it, but they are across all genres. Like I have ones that are sex clubs and I have ones that are historicals or monster romance or even a serial killer or two. So let's go ahead and dive into this list. Um, this one was actually pretty easy to fill out and I have a lot of wrecks that also multiple books in the series have the same kink in it. So it'll be um, really good for helping you find some of these. So let's go ahead and start on one that I actually just read. Um, I just read this for um, reading in the new year. I did a reading vlog and I read Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. So this one is a little quickie. This is the first in her Strange Moon series, I think. Um, yeah, it's a novella that she did. And this one, I really loved this because her dedication, okay, her dedication is to Angel, Spike, Eric, and Pam, which those are all um, fictional vampires and she did it. So this is between a vampire named Vlad and a witch named Hazel who is plus size curvy and she has bright pink hair and she runs a bar called Witch Hazel and Vlad has a club across the street that is competition to her place. Now, Vlad isn't trying to compete with her, but the company that is kind of funding his club, um, that he's like managing it, they are in competition with her. But what happens in the beginning is they kind of have this, um, one night stand type scenario where there's this like sexual experience being hosted at, I think it's at her place with, where her friend is doing it and her friend gives her this potion that's supposed to like heighten her sexuality and so she is in the bathroom just kind of in the shower pleasuring herself and Vlad somehow stumbles into the bathroom and she then is kind of like rubbing herself up against the glass so that um he gets an eyeful of her and she is so like feeling sexually free that she invites him into the shower with her. They have this experience. So the way that this has voyeurism, first off, there was her kind of like showing herself off to him because you can be voyeuristic all on your own, which we have many more of those in, um, in this list as well. But then there's a scene too later on where they're in his office and he shows her the cameras and shows that there are people right outside the office. So she better be quiet or they're going to hear what's happening. And that very much heightens her arousal. So this was fun. This is a good little 
test at voyeurism if you'd like to see if you maybe like it it's also you know a paranormal um and there's some fun spicy times in here this does have blood play because he's a vampire and um a few other kinks in this one it was very fun then we have the one that I'm sure everyone immediately thought of when they thought of this because this series was extremely popular in 2022 and I'm sure it will continue to be popular this year eyes on me. <laughs> so actually quite a few books in this series have voyeurism and that's probably why I grabbed Give Me More as well because this does have some elements of voyeurism in it as well because of the cuckolding scenario that happens in this. But I talk about Give Me More all the time and I wanted to talk about Eyes on Me because this one has multiple, multiple instances of voyeurism in it. It first starts off with our heroine is a cam girl. So literally her job is voyeurism. She enjoys having men pay to watch her get off. Where it gets a little sticky is that her older stepbrother, um, he stumbles across her profile on there and he gets off to her and now he's like, oh no, I'm having feelings for my younger stepsister. Now they didn't really grow up together. He was already an adult when their parents got together. Um, and she's always thought he like didn't like her or thought she was irresponsible. And they end up being drawn together when I think they have like a holiday or something and they go stay at the lake house. Like literally look at the beautiful inside art on these. Oh, I love it so much. Um, and, um, and then that kind of escalates, that's the point. And then there's also a scene near the end of this that is like our pinnacle kind of like groveling scene where our hero, um, gets really into letting the heroine do some things to him while people are watching and it's very, very hot. It's, it's delicious. So highly recommend. And again, really a lot of books in that series have it. You'll find that in a lot of sex club series, which we're going to keep on going on the sex club round. And I'm going to introduce you to, um, another series that pretty much the whole series is about voyeurism because the series is called the voyeur club by Fiona Cole. Um, and this is book one, Voyeur. And this one involves a heroine who works at a, a, the Voyeur Club, which is basically where you can go to see live porn. So you can put in the scenario you'd like to see if it's two people, three people, one person, and you can go and watch. Um, you aren't, you don't participate, but you can watch it happen, um, which is kind of cool. And so our heroine, she's in college and she's doing this to kind of pay for her experience and her teacher or her professor, he has some sexual hangups. He has a bit of trauma mixed in with it. And the only way that he can really get off is to go and like watch it happen. Um, and so it's a very interesting thing of like the younger person really being the one to kind of help the, you know, the older person in the age gap, like through what they're dealing with. Um, and this starts off again, a whole series where there's different voyeur scenarios. I'm so sorry, because that's what this club is about. So we get to see all different scenarios get set up, all different couples and throuples and things happen. Um, and I love this series so much. Like, oh, it's so good. I love these books. Um, and I highly recommend that series if you discover that you like voyeurism, if it's a kink that you want to read more of, definitely check out that series. One more sex club, I will just share that one too, um, is Master of the Shadowlands. This is actually a bind up of books one and two. So the first one is Club Shadowlands and then there's Dark Cartel. Um, this is by Cherise Sinclair. Cherise Sinclair is an author that I would love to read more of and I want to. She's someone that I need to invest in because none of her stuff shows up on KU. And you know what? I respect that and I want to support it. Um, but it's one thing to like say you want to and then it's another to do it. So I definitely want to read more of these. Um, I've read like the first five in this series when I was really diving into BDSM and looking to find what I liked reading about the most. And these books were some of the first ones people recommended to me. And I was, like I said, lucky enough to get a, this bind up of the first two. Um, and yeah, I just... I really love it. And what I love even more now is there's a series that I talk about almost just all the time that's called um, the, oh geez, it just went out of my head, The Sons of the Survivalists. And Master Z, who is the very first hero we have in this series, he's actually a psychologist. Um, and he 
is a psychologist friend to Mako, who is like the the dad of the who's the sons of the survivalist, and he had been like their therapist through the years to help these kids deal with the trauma that they've been through. Um, and so I love that I found that out when I read those books that Master Z, um, who I love so much, he's in this series. So anyway, this one, this is a standard sex club series. So I feel like I don't need to go into too much detail, but I will say like, if there are a lot of kinks that you're finding that you like a sex club series is a great one to dive into to find more because this is I feel like where authors are the most free with using them and so but with sex clubs voyeurism usually goes right along with it because you're usually showing off your submissive or you're submissive you're having them do something with someone else while you're there like there's just some really great things in it but these ones have an air of kind of like fun in them even though like it's called master of the shadowlands and everybody's called master all the time and like that's part of the reason too why i didn't continue is that i'm not always in the mood for like master to be used because it's just a very like heavy honorific but these ones they were very heartwarming for like a sex club like they really warmed my heart a lot and um a lot of it is helping people work through trauma or sometimes there's no trauma at all it's just experiencing something new and i love that but because we have master z who is a therapist like there is always it like matched with that and i appreciate it okay then um i want to mention the frat boy by nikki sloan now Nikki Sloan is someone else that will come up a ton if you look up voyeurism as a kinks. Like, she has an entire sex club series as well called The Blindfold Club, which there are many different instances of voyeurism in that series. But I wanted to talk about The Frat Boy because it was a recent release. It was her most recent release in the Nashville Neighborhood series. And this one was about these two college students, which I didn't know how I would feel about that. I didn't know ahead of time that they were both college students. I thought it was just the frat boy who was, but they both are. And they're actually in rival Greek houses. So he's in a fraternity, she's in a sorority, and there's this spat that happens. There's the thing that goes down and they both get kicked out of their of Greek life. And this is bad for them both in different areas and they both need to make some money. And so they both answer this ad for this company, this, this porn company that has a house where they have people live there and make porn. Um, and if you make a certain amount per month, then your rent is basically free. Otherwise, like each thing that you do, you can do it on your own. You can do it with a partner. You guys can set up scenes to do together. And it's this husband and wife who they actually are in a different book by Nikki Sloan, just a novella that, sh that she's done. Um, that's how like they meet and then like they do this together so this helps husband and wife do it and then they have some other like young people who end up living there and doing this and so these two enemies who they're both the reason the other one got kicked out of where they were they end up at this house together and they have to audition together so their very first anything intimate is with their enemy and they're being like filmed doing it for their interview um and then it goes from there so yeah this whole this whole book is basically about voyeurism and making it together and I really really loved this um yeah it w I was very highly rated it Nikki Sloan rarely misses for me okay like she rarely misses for me because she does the perfect line of like it's hot but there's always some heart in there and I was surprised where the heart came from in this one I really was so I had a great time with it then we have Neon Gods by Katie Robert. I know a lot of people have heard about this one. Again, Katie Robert has an entire series that is a sex club, which is the, um, which is the Wicked Villains. And every single book in that series has voyeurism scenes in it. But I just wanted to point out that Neon Gods does too. There is, you know, that's kind of a point in that one is that the bargain that Hades and Persephone come up with in that one is to try to piss off Zeus and in doing that like Hades has some sexual proclivities where he enjoys voyeurism and BDSM and one of those involves this like um sex parties where you know there's things happening in front of each other and there's a throne the throne on this cover is like a throne where some sexy things go down in front of people um so yeah definitely um 
definitely a good one to mention and maybe one you didn't think of or you might think of the Wicked Villain series but Neon Gods actually has Voyeur it is a minute too and I also think that one could be a good place to start as well because that book being that it was a traditionally published book by Katie Robert it doesn't go quite as hard or bananas as her Wicked Villain series does that one was really Katie just writing to her heart's desire like all these kinks and all these things um and the dark olympus series is a little more subdued but still very spicy and very like emotional and i love that i love that then we have losers by harley larue both parts one and two um and this one is there this is a poly relationship uh with five people there's four men and one woman but i would not call this like reverse harem or any of that because the men actually have stronger relationships than they do with the woman, at least at the beginning. Um, they're all bisexual men, um, and there is obviously a lot of voyeurism happening in this. It is, like, between everybody who's consenting in that, um, but this series, this series has so many kinks and so many triggers, so definitely check out Harley's listing of that. She does a great job listing it, but I read arcs for both Losers and Losers Part 2, and I gotta tell you, I didn't want to read Losers, but I got on her arc team because I want to read her next, um, in the Souls trilogy, and when she had openings, I was like, well, I'm gonna get on it now, um, and I didn't really want to read it because I don't like RH, but this was not RH. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, yeah. It just really moved me quite a bit and so I wanted to share that one with you guys. So um, then I have one more dark romance and then I have two historicals to share actually. So I have There Are No Saints by Sophie Lark. Ah, I'm so happy to put this one in here. <laughs> Sophie does such an amazing job of fitting kinks into her books um, in just like very seamless ways. Now this one is definitely pretty pretty kinky and dark because we have Cole who is a serial killer and we have Mara who is an artist. Cole's an artist as well. He's a very well-known artist um, but he moonlights as a serial killer and he has a rival serial killer who likes to fuck with him. Um, and the specific like scene that is voyeurism in here is a scene that is like so full of women empowerment. It also like breaks a lot of rules for me what I don't like in romance. However, Cole is a serial killer, he's a psychopath, and he is an asshole, and he's trying to demean Mara. So what does Mara do? She says, fuck you, and she goes to his gallery and fucks with this tattoo artist where the cameras are, where she knows that Cole can see it, and she just has this lavish, like, sexual experience with this tattoo artist to rub it in Cole's face, and she knows he's gonna see. So this has some slight voyeurism in it, and in like such a powerful scene like OMG. OMG, I loved it. I loved it so much. Then we have Her Husband's Harlot by Grace Calloway. This is another book that is great if you want to test the waters and you don't want to go to a sex club or have serial killers be there. Um, but this one is actually about this couple that they were in an arranged marriage um, and they've been married for a while. Um, and after a really bad like wedding night, things don't go well. These two like never try again because they're like both embarrassed. Um, and then Nicholas Morgan, um, he had kind of like he's a made man. And so he's never really felt worthy of his wife anyway. So he's never shared his his desires with her and again he's never tried again like he hasn't tried to communicate with her or make it work at all he's just he has his beautiful wife he's gonna take care of her and stay away from her but she finds out that he's going to this brothel and she wants to be with her husband and she doesn't know how to show him that because she was raised as like a proper lady she doesn't know how and so she goes there undercover and um gets herself like in a scenario where he doesn't know who she is and they have sexy time and they do it like just behind a curtain where like people can like almost hear them and stuff so very much like tipping our toes into it but a great place to start if you want to see if you will like it and I really really loved the Mayhem and Mayfair series I actually want to continue and read the series that comes after this one um, but I really I enjoyed it quite a bit I had a great time 
And then the last one I want to mention is A Season for Spies by Golden Angel. Um, this book just came out in 2022. I was lucky enough to be a part of the release for this one. Um, and Golden Angel, whether she's writing historical or contemporary or paranormal, she writes kinky good times. And so there are a lot of fun things that we see. And if you like historical and you want it to be sexy and edgy, this is a great one. Um, I do kind of recommend you start at the beginning of this series because Evie, the heroine of this one, is someone we see throughout the series. And she is a spy. She's a spy like against her family's wishes, but she is kicking ass and taking names and in this book We've uncovered who a traitor is and she's going about trying to capture him and she comes up against um, the Marquis Wait, nope Captain Anthony Brown and They are going to work together because here's the thing she's been working against like she's been working out of her family's um like against her family's wishes this whole time and now she finally has the chance to um like prove that she's been right and Anthony is like working with to help her and of course because it's Golden Angel it's going to get spicy there's going to be spanking there's going to be ginger there's going to be some voyeurism happening and people hearing and seeing things seeing them together and I just love it because there is a sex club in this one but it's like a Regency sex club that isn't like in your face or anything like that so there you go there are 10 recommendations for voyeurism thank you Melissa B for suggesting this as a taboo rec let me know your favorite books with voyeurism if you've seen some of these ones that you want to try and let me know any other taboo uh, recs you'd like me to do make sure you leave it in my video rec form though so I don't lose the recommendation and I'll see you in the next video bye